Welcome everyone to the podcast training presented by the Junietta College Instructional Design Team. Um, show of hands, how many people are here for the training? Okay, a couple of people just studying. Okay, that's fine. If we're bothering you guys, I apologize. Okay. All right. So, in this training, you'll learn how to select a topic for your podcast, write a script, reserve podcasting equipment here in the Learning Commons, record and edit your audio, and finally, publish your podcast. There's gonna be a lot we'll, we'll cover today. Show of hands, have any of you like made a podcast already? A little bit, a little bit? All right, cool. Holly and I have a podcast that's currently up. We teach on Spotify, you should check it out. Um, yeah, okay. So step one is picking a topic for your podcast. So you gotta think about your audience. <coughs> Who do you want listening to your podcast? Will it be informative, maybe entertaining, um, funny, persuasive? So the first thing we can do is brainstorm a little bit. If you have a computer or just a notebook, <coughs> go ahead and jot some ideas down. What might your podcast be about? I do not have a plug, do you have Cool. And again, two agreements. <laughs> We'll give you guys two minutes and brainstorm just anything that comes to mind. So as you guys are brainstorming your topics, kind of related to that is that you might need to do research or planning along with that. Um, so like consider the format of your podcast episodes. Is it just going to be you and a monologue? Or is it going to be, oh, well, I want to have guests on and do interviews, um, maybe bringing in some other sounds, <coughs> content, things like that. You might need to do research depending on what your con what your topic is going to be about. So we won't go too deep into that. That might take a long time depending on what your topic is or not much time. If you're like, I'm just going to pull up a <coughs> mic and talk about what happened in Baker today. I don't know. So we can skip the research part, but that could be a very important step for you guys to take. Okay, step number three, writing your script. So, with Holly and I's We Teach podcast, we have a pretty scripted intro and outro because we know exactly what we want to say and it's pretty consistent through the episodes. But during the middle of the conversation, we usually have a guest on and, and we're doing back and forth questions, so it's a lot less scripted and we use bullet points. So you want to avoid making your episodes sound too scripted. You want to keep it authentic, keep it real. Um, and then talk about the outros, intros and outros versus the main content. Oh, and if you do write a script for any section of the podcast, be sure to read it out loud beforehand, before you start recording, because you might recognize like, oh, either missed a word here, or I want to reword this to make it sound more natural, things like that. And I think I have an example here. Okay, so this was a sample script of one of the episodes that Holly and I did. So we had a special guest on, and we wrote out questions <coughs> we wanted to ask her beforehand. But then we also wrote out the intro. So we're like, okay, we'll say this first, and then we can jump in. And then the conversation just flowed from there. So, all right. Let's take a couple minutes. If you guys have an idea of something that you might want to write about, a uh, topic for your podcast, you can take a few minutes to be like, oh, what would the, how would I introduce it? What would, what would be the script to bring that in? So go ahead and take, I don't know, three, four minutes to kind of play around with something. Um, you don't have to read out loud. But that would be a next step to do that. All right. <coughs> if you guys need any help, 
have any questions, feel free to ask. What would a podcast be about if you were to make a podcast? I were to make a podcast. Didn't we also have a section? I wonder if we can do something like that. There you go. We have a queen that has a lot of visual components to that. I don't think it's a picture. Would you have a queen explaining how three different forms are more like? So it's called, what is it called? Just you see That's what stops it. Gossip Podcast. Isn't that actually a podcast? Are you two the girl hosts? Uh, yeah. yeah. And it's just like talking about college and stuff. It's kind of chill. Yeah. We haven't like made, oh, like, yeah. recorded anything yet because we will be doing something. Yeah. Um, and because it's over there, it's always a good one. So yeah. <laughs> But we have like ideas and stuff like if you guys had like us, what would now you see that we had ideas for like each episode and like what would happen in each episode that would be really great. I know it's question that would sense. You could have multiple chips. Well guess we'd have a topic would be on. I don't know. Because usually so like awesome. we're roommates and then we share the other club and we just like have these late night conversations and talk about Right. How many other things? Yeah. Every time, like, um, I don't think it's a room per se. You know, we just like do this. Oh, okay. Um, and just like, yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. And then it's like you saw this, and I'm like, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. All right, so when you open Adobe Audition, this is the screen you're gonna see. And as you can see, there's, there's nothing here. So you need to open a new project. So we're gonna go way up here to the top left corner to File, click New. We're gonna slide over here. And we want, we'll do a multi-track session. And we'll get into what tracks are in a second. We're gonna click that, and then you get to name it. We're gonna call this Podcast Training. One. Save it. Ooh, now we have tracks. Okay. So, Tom, correct me if I'm wrong, but so tracks are going to be like where you record your parts of audio. So, one thing that Holly and I have been doing now for We Teach is that there might be multiple mics for our different guests. So, one mic would be track one, one mic would be track two, third guest would be track three. And so, let's say if someone's a little bit far from the mic, they're a little bit quiet. It's all on their own track, so we can bump up the volume for just that one. It's not all on one track, and you have to like, we've been through that mess before. It's not fun. And it doesn't have to be a separate track for every mic either. Like, let's say you want to add music and effects, which we'll get to very soon. That could go on its own track as well. Okay, so we have our tracks here, but this is in on, let's say, because we have the mic, but we need to arm it or ready it in Adobe Audition. So to ready the mic, we're going to press this little R <coughs> for ready. Ooh, now we see the levels, and it's picking up on our voices. Yeah. 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 Okay. And I'm not sure when we play back if we'll be able to hear it, but we'll mess with that when we get to it. So uh, I think now that we're ready to record, I'm going to go down here and click the record button. How are you doing, Holly? I am great, Bella. How are you? I am just fantastic. We are here in the Smell Presentation Center doing a podcast training. Our first one. I'm so exciting. Three days into using Audition. <laughs> I'm my first time using this mic, so this is a fun time. Okay. Absolutely. Now, what I'm curious about is did I hit that button again? Because it stopped recording. Uh, may have? Quite possibly. <laughs> All right, let's stop that. Um, and let's turn this in back and see if you guys can hear. section that I recorded. So now I've highlighted the clip, and I could click delete. Let's say I don't want to do that, so I'm going to control Z. Okay, now it's back. Um, control Z to undo that. What else can we do here? So let's say, oh, what else can we do with this? We can fade in. Okay, fade in. We can fade in and out. So I come straight in, but maybe I want a little bit of a gradual like uh, sound to it. Like, you know, I get quiet and then I come in louder. You can click on these little things and drag them. So now, you can change how your voice comes in or out. Or maybe, you know, when it comes, when it goes out, I want it to get gradually quieter. So it's just one option. And now we're going to record some other clips just for funsies. Do you want to pretend that we stay teach? Sure. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm going to give you all these are guests. Should we talk? Okay. Um, all right, I'm just moving it there so I can record over this again. Okay, so let's, I moved this clip because I don't want to record over it, but I do want to keep it. And we're going to record again, but it's not going to be an issue of like ruining this because this track is not armed. It's only going to be recording on this track. And when we play it back, Tom, if this isn't armed, will I hear it when I replay it? Okay, so I could mute this track. 
we'll show you how to bump. Mute is this little M. So if I don't want to hear this track, I just click mute and I won't hear it. Okay. We'll look for it again. Red button. Hi friends, welcome back to We Teach. So for those of you who don't know, We Teach is a, a platform for current and future educators who are navigating this wild yet rewarding industry. Today on this lovely podcast, we have my co-host Bella, and we are interviewing the lovely guest, Tom McQueen, who is the um, instructional design specialist, instructional director of digital technology. The, the assistant director of the Office of Visual Learning? Yes, that's it. Okay. And we are so happy that he is talking with us today. <laughs> All right, so let's stop it there. That time I succeeded in not stopping it prematurely. Um, all right, and that. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Um, maybe I should. Okay, so it's not super important what we're saying, but I do want to show. Let's say right here, we had some awkward pauses or something. Or, or we messed up the title, so we're like, we want to cut that part out. So I believe um, we can do right here. There's also a razor option, like a razor clip option, um, which could also do the trick. Let me see if we can do it here. It's up here. Razor selection clips. Is that going to do what I want it to do? And then you put a line. Oh, there we go. Okay, now you can just. Maybe I want to cut out this section. So boom. Now I have two, two slices right there. So it's not going to be one full section. It's just going to be cut now. So it's three separate clips. Now I go back up to the select tool, and I click this, and I don't want it, so I might delete it. I could also bring that back, and maybe I want to move it to much later. So there's a lot of things we can do here. Um, I think I'm going to jump back to. How am I forgetting? I think we'll stop there for a second. We'll come back to an audition. Are there any questions right now? Is there a question? Okay. I thought Tom was going to call. No. All right. Let's jump back to slideshow. Okay. So now that we recorded something, and we talked a little bit about editing already. Um, so there's four main elements of sound, effects, voice, music, white noise. So effects would be like, well, actually that cool thing back there that's going to be upstairs in the second floor has all these cool effects. So if you want to put on like, um, a voice disguise, or like really deepen your voice and do that sort of thing, or um, can really up the pitch of your voice, and then kind of like the fading and ducking and things were a little bit related to that. Or let's say we introduce our guest Tom McLean, and we want to put in yay, like you know one of those little voice things, or that's an effect too. So we'll get to how you can include those very shortly. And then voice is also really important. So. It was quiet coming through here, and I don't don't know why for certain, but with some microphones, well, you know, with the microphone, the closer you get, the louder your voice is going to be. Um, some microphones are really good at picking that up, and others, you have to be really close, is what we found. <laughs> so be sure to speak with like a strong, clear voice. Um, I don't know if I'm missing anything. Yeah, just be close enough to hear, and don't speak too quickly. I'm nervous, so I feel like I'm speaking very quickly. But, you know, it, the good thing about podcasting, though, is like when you edit it, you can cut out all the nerves, you know? You, you get to curate how it sounds. And then music. We start a we teach episode that we keep little, I don't know how it goes. Sing the blues song. I always sing the blues song, that's how I think of it, but it's not the blues song, it's just similar. Um, but we start and end with that, and we'll teach you how to put those in too. And then white noise. So white noise would be like kind of those silences, those um, gaps, which sometimes you might want to cut out, and other times you might be like, okay, I feel like we're talking on top of each other. Let's give a little pause here. So that's an important aspect too. 
So I have one thing for you guys. If, if you do yeah. go to record stuff, um, we're very excited to have the second floor when the studio comes up because there's insulation around it, so it's soundproof. Uh, one of the pieces, even when you're sitting in here, uh, if you listen really close, one, there's a hum that's going on, or at least maybe in my head. Uh, the other problem with even when you think the room might be quiet, uh, as these folks are coming in and out of the doors on the side, every time they open up the door, that audio bleeds into what you're recording. So it's just like you're being in your dorm room, and it's a mess to clean up. And there's little things like that as you go that you may not think about it, uh, but that's hours to try to clean up someone walking out of that room into this room to try to take out, especially if they're watching, like, I don't know, it's a hobby game, they're watching or listening to music in there, it, it's just a hot mess. So uh, again, that's why we're excited to have the space. Uh, the other piece, and then I'll turn it back to Bella, um, is the on your phones, and you can actually record yourself right off your laptop without a microphone. Uh, one of the things the microphones do is they have a certain pattern that are made that when you're sitting in front of them, it, it's only going to pick you up. If you're on the far side of the microphone, it'll dampen the sound and you won't hear it. So you get a really nice quality audio just from sitting in front of the microphone um, and you don't have to mess so much with cleaning up everything at the end and that's a drag. Yeah. So now back to Bellow. That's a good point too. So last night in my dorm room, I didn't have a mic, but I was just playing around with Audition using my laptop mic. And it worked okay for what you know I was trying to do there, just get a sense of how it worked. Um, but yeah, exactly like Tom said, microphones are, are built to create the best sound with that. Um, so, if you want to add music or effects, here's some royalty-free sites. The freemusicarchive.org, premiumbeat.com, artlist.io. Um, yeah, and there's way more than this, but these are just some resources. Um, so let's, yeah, let's try one of those. I would like to go to the freemusicarchive.org. Let's do maybe pro. All right, keywords. Um, I don't know. Jazz. If it'll work. Um, yeah, let's just type. Thank you. Thank you. Um, just wait. It's really like, um, Alright, that's groovy. I want to keep it. Alright, so how do I... Or do I have to buy this one? I think if I went the other one, I could maybe... Yeah, that's yeah. the pay to play when the other one's free. Oh, but it's okay. the same. it's the same idea. Yeah, same idea. All right, we'll go over here. The free music archive. We'll still do jazz. Um, well, I don't like it, but it's the first one we found, so we'll take it. Um, so now we can download it. Gosh darn it. Yep, I agree. Have something downloaded, so we're just gonna use that. But you get the you get the gist. You go to a website and you you find it. So let's go back to audition. And I have this here, and I want to import a piece of music that I have just downloaded on my laptop. So we're gonna go to five. We're gonna import. I think it's just a file. Alright, so yesterday I downloaded motivating future. So now it is over here, top left. And now I think I can just, a drag and drop. So my music, I want to put it on a separate track, just personal taste, but there it is. And when it looks at this, it's going to be pretty loud. Um, and let's mute the other track just so we can hear it. Yeah. So now that's in there, and I could slide it to the front of my pocket. Oh, that's it. That's the front. Slide it to the front, and now let's say I want to move everything else back. I think I could do a right click here and do a select. Um, 
slip clips to end of session. Okay, well it counts my my intro music, but that's okay because we can do that and slide this back. Whoa! And then maybe I want to fade out of the music, fade into the rest of it, and we can do that. So that's how you put in music and effects will be the same way. Um, and then I want to save that, so we're going to go to File, Save, or Control S. Um, is next. Okay, so we use those. Okay, so now maybe you've got all your clips and you have it pretty much sorted where you want. Might have to adjust the volume on some tracks. Like that music was a lot louder than the other ones, which reminds me, we'll come back to how we can fix that. Um, you can add your music, your effects, re-record sections if necessary. Holly and I have had a couple of things where we're like, we'll just We'll just cut that out, but then it's like, oh, but then you start talking, it doesn't sound natural, so you might need to re-record things on top of it. And I think next should be publish. Okay, let's go back to, now we'll do the volume and then we'll publish it. Okay, so publish. We use Spotify for podcasters, but there's also Apple Podcasts and lots of other platforms. Um, okay, let's publish that thing that we just made. Um, so real quick on the volume here, um, you can see how high these lines are compared to the rest of it. So I could either increase the volume for these ones, which might be the easiest thing. So I think I'm gonna grab these little bars down at the bottom. I'm gonna drag them forward. That looks better. Yeah, and you'd have to do those for the other clips too. There's that. Okay. So now let's say, Control S, we're gonna save that. And let's say I'm happy with where it is. So we're gonna to go to File. So this is after your file is like complete. You're like, I'm ready to publish it. So we're going to file, export it. We're gonna go over to multi-track mix down, the entire session. Um, this looks okay. The important thing here, I would say save it as an MP3 audio file. Lots of options here, but MP3 audio is probably the one you want. And then down here you can change the format, um, so like change the quality kind of, correct me if I'm wrong Tom, but the higher the number, the more space that file is going to take up, right? So it's set to default right in the middle. That should be pretty much okay for, for your purposes here. Um, so we'll do okay on that. Okay. So now it's exporting. Let me see if it was saved in my Tom team file. It could be any uh, is it training or is it? We'll find it. Hold on. Alright, now we're gonna go to Spotify for Podcasters. This is just one example. We're gonna sign up. We're gonna start a podcast. We are gonna continue the app because I'm already logged in. Let's do it. So I'm not going to go through this whole process, but it is super user friendly. We use Spotify for podcasters and, and we love it. So it's really nice. So let's do it. We're going to make a thing and then you select the file, drag and drop it, drop it in. Any questions on that part? And now, thank you. <laughs> that, that pretty much covers it. Um, I'm sure there's pieces I left out, but we are always at the desk and we'll soon be at the upstairs service point if you guys have any questions. The one thing I do ask though is if you would like, I mean please, grab this QR code and it'll take you to a very short survey so that we can get some feedback on this training and improve for future sessions. So the other part to the, the piece, that's yes. the formal Bella put together for you at Holly. Uh, we brought out some of the equipment that's available to you as students. Again, this station will be upstairs on the second floor as you see it on the table. Uh, these are all set up to help you do recording. Uh, so you can record as Bella showed you with Audition straight to the laptop or your laptop. These are meant to record without a laptop. So you can go record down an SD card, simply plug the SD card into your computer and then clean up the audio later on. So you're more than welcome to stick around and play with it, have fun. 
um, and we'll answer any questions for you too. Yes, thank you, Tom. Okay, did everyone grab that QR code? Okay, fantastic. Uh, I think the next one is just, yeah, resources. We'll be on the second floor with the BPT at the service point, coming soon, in the weeks to come. Good stuff there. Um, that's it, okay. So, thank you. Are, are there any questions? Any things you wanna see again? Yes. I just have one question. So sure. until the seventh floor is done, if right. you want to get started, would you recommend like doing it in one of the like study rooms? That's so a the great two question. the the two of the quietest places on campus. Uh, one is you can check out whatever the equipment is. Uh, there's a simplified studio that's over in the bottom of BAC. Uh, you can get the key from the desk. We had folks go over there and record it. It's dead silent. Uh, so that's really, really nice. Also, it has uh, a setup where you can go in, log in with your Geniata account, and actually use the mics in the room that you can just sit in there, record it, and then do everything that Bella did with the, the software to clean that up, add the music and the intro, and cut it and edit and all that fun stuff. Um, the other spot is, that I would say is um, we're in transit. Uh, so if you had a project that you wanted to try, it's not particularly quiet, but uh, 115A here, uh, there will be a table put in there probably tomorrow. Uh, and I don't know how we'll do that, but that would be one of the places that you could check out. It's a lot better than the, the glass rooms here. Uh, we did hear uh, there was a group that did a recording for career day in one of the, the glass rooms here. Uh, it didn't sound too bad, uh, but you will get a little bit of overflow. The biggest thing is on these doors, when someone shuts it, that will click into your, your podcast as well. Uh, and I should be remiss, I don't know if they opened it back up in Hallbritter. Uh, there's also a student studio that uh, you could go in and use. I don't know if they opened it back up. It has a bigger version of a little recorder studio there, so it's just a bigger brother with some microphones. But those are the places on campus that I would say right now that are fairly quiet. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Other questions? Okay. You say they're free to play with the equipment. If you want. can sit and play. You can practice if you want to try to record something on any of it. Mm -hmm. Feel free. Uh, this is really fun to play with. It's got voice filters that you just do it on the fly and you can hear yourself oh, yeah. sound like a chipmunk or a monster or add effects on the fly. It's a lot of fun. So. Okay, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you.